What's up, Internet? My name is Michael Cook. This is Blue Giant Media, and we're here to connect through gaming. Today, we're going to take a look at what's inside the box of Alien Frontiers, The Outer Belt. This is an expansion for Alien Frontiers by Randall Bart and Tori Neiman, published by Game Salute. We're going to take a look opening the box, see the artwork, the component quality, and what you're going to get for your money. All right, so here I have the uh, expansion pack number seven that goes uh, goes not necessarily with Outer Belt, but it has cards that go with it. All right, so we have a Micro Singularity, a Tactical Meteoroid, some Neutrino. So these are cards that are gonna go out in the orbit in the uh, Outer Belt. And then we've got a couple more tech cards. Neutrino Missile Salvo, Pocket Universe, and the Ring Repeater. So, got some new cards to go with it there. And here we have this little box. Let's see what we have inside. So one thing I will say, I really like the quality of the boxes for all of the Alien Frontiers games. I think it's really nice. So it's got this little board though. I kind of wish that this was, I don't know, just had one fold in, in it instead of three for this little board. Uh, I'm gonna have to kind of find a way to make it uh, lay flat. So I wish, that's one thing I do wish right off the bat though. I mean, it's good quality, it's double, double sided. And uh, I guess this side is for if you have the uh, special rocket ship shaped dice. And this side is if you have regular D6 type dice. Here we've got, let's see, it's interesting that it's got a punch out here, but I don't see, oh, there it is. <laughs> it just came out very cleanly. All right, so we've got a couple of these. These are gonna be used to uh, cover up spots that are uh, not gonna be used with a certain number of players. And then this is, I'm assuming, for the back. Although, oh, it does give you, give you them for each, and you can see that they are matching what they are covering even with the shape of the meteor. So, that's pretty nice. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look. We have new player components for, oh, and here's a, uh, here's some dice. <laughs> All right, so this one, I believe is used for deciding how many spaces or whether you're gonna move extra spaces for these cards as they move through orbit. Then you have some red dice here. You also have the same die, but with the D6 instead of the rocket ship die, which, and the rocket ship die is interesting, but I think I'm more of a D6 person myself. We have the Blish Expanse. Let's see what this says it does. It says you may ignore the retain for one full turn requirement of the asteroids. So I'm sure that'll make more sense as I go through the actual rules for the game. But we have orange, and these are pretty much, they feel like a, feel like the same quality as the dice that came with the uh, the regular base game. We've got a rule book, and if it's like the rule books from the other expansions and everything, it should be very nice, easy to read, simple rules, clear cut. Now let's look at the cards that we have here. So it's kind of nice having these little tuck boxes. I know that some people like to have them inside of all their uh, their base set, which we'll go ahead and take a look at in a little bit how all this is gonna fit in the base set. And let's open this up. All right, so here we have the third edition box, and I have all of the dice for the base set, factions, and outer belt, all in these little things. These are from uh, the Dollar Tree, and everything fits right in one, which is nice. So that's all fitting nicely right there. We've got all these factions and the outer belt board, putting that in there. Inside this tuck box, I went ahead and decided that I did want to keep it, and I'm gonna put all of these kind of player aids that come with the different faction expansion packs. Or I guess they're not just for factions, but those expansion packs, and I'm gonna put all of them in here. Okay. 
Okay. And then I have, these are all the different tech cards. These are all sleeved. And then these are all of the agenda cards, also all sleeved. So I didn't have enough sleeves. I'm not really a sleever. I had gotten the, the set with the sleeves in a trade, and I just didn't bother taking, you know, getting rid of them. But I don't feel the need to get more of them. So then here I've got all of the bonuses that you get from controlling the different regions, including the new region. And I'm going to go ahead and start stacking this stuff in here. So we'll go ahead and put stuff in. Stuff that in there. And let's see how I do this. These are all of the original, because I, I the set that I had came with the wooden bits, and I have wooden bits and extra ships for all the colors except for orange, so if I wanted to, I could still use the wooden ones that came with it, which I think they are nice. So I'm not opposed to using those on occasion. So everything fits in there nicely. And then we can go ahead and put that. And there we are. All nice and tidy. And that's what's inside the box of Alien Frontier's Outer Belt by Randall Bart and Tori Neiman, published by Game Salute. If you want to know more about Alien Frontiers and the Outer Belt, go ahead and take a look in the description section for a link to further gameplay, rules overview, and review of these games. You can also find a link there to macronovagames.com where you can buy this and a whole bunch of other great games. If you have any other suggestions on games that you want to see component quality, rules, or overview my review for, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to connect with you. Until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see, and have a wonderful day.